lots of practice been going on the last couple of weeks. So we want to welcome you here tonight. I am Jenny Stricker, the principal here. And uh, we're going to make a couple of introductions this, this evening before we get started. But before we do, just a quick announcement. If you have any family members, friends that want to watch online, we are streaming. Grab your phones out real quick. Text them. It is on jubileeintl.org. You can hit watch live. And if they can't watch tonight, then it will be on Ustream. And if that's not good enough, we're going to sell DVDs. So if you want to buy a DVD copy of tonight, they're only going to be $10. We won't have them tonight, but you can sign up for them tonight in the back. So we're very excited about that. Where do you get to go to a Christmas program that's live streamed all over the world? That's pretty cool, right? And we have it everywhere. But well, before we get going tonight, I just want to welcome you. We, uh, as I always say, it is such a sacred trust for you to let us have your children all day, every day. We don't take that lightly. They're very much sacred to us. But um, there are some people who have paid a price much more than me. I've been here eight years, but there's people that have been at this vision for 20 years. And so before we get going tonight, I'd like to introduce the pastor of our house and let him make a few introductions. So please welcome Lynn Ballinger. Wonderful. Are you all excited about seeing your kids? They have worked so hard, and we're going to have a great time tonight, and uh, we're going to check out that star. So it's going to be a great time, and everyone has worked so hard. I'd just like to uh, introduce my wife, Pamela. If you wave your hand at everybody, it's my wife. And uh, my mother, our founding pastor, Darlene, and she's also taken a a huge, huge part in the music side of this. And, uh, of course, we have our, the, the mastermind behind this whole production and uh, also our associate pastor, uh, Carolyn James. And uh, it's awesome to just make those introductions. Great people, great staff, and I'm telling you, it's going to be a great time. But you don't want to hear me talk. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm getting ready to turn this over to whomever I turn it to, back to you. But before we do, let's just say a word of prayer together. Jesus, we thank you for a wonderful night. Lord, we thank you for our kids. Lord, they are treasures. Lord, and there's never a greater time than Christmas when we remember that you gave your son, God, as we watch our kids, our legacy, the ones that carry out, Lord God, the things that we do and pour into them. And so today, God, we just remember that and we celebrate our kids. And Lord, we just thank you for them. We give this night to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Ms. Stricker. Amen. All right, just a couple of quick housekeeping things. If you would like to take pictures, we want you to take pictures. Please feel free to take pictures as many as you want. We do have a lot of dancing up here. So we're going to ask that you stay in the aisles and just really, really close to the front row if you want to take pictures, uh, uh, lest you get kicked in the head or something while somebody's dancing. We don't want that to happen to you. Um, and the lights will kind of come down and up a little bit, so just be careful about that. If you have a child that is crying, please just take a minute. We've got a four-year right out there. Uh, you can just jump out there. It's showing, showing on the TV out there so you won't miss anything and, and pull them back. We know kids, right? Kids get upset, but they've worked really, really hard, and I hate for their lines to be missed, you know, because we got an upset baby. Just take them out, get them together, and bring them right back in. That's what we do around here. So you didn't come to see me. You came to see a bunch of young people, so we're going to check out that star tonight.
and then she says, action. Merry Christmas, Beverly. Oh, thank you, Maggie. There was a gift in there for everyone in your family. Jason helped me pack it. A baby dolly? Oh, I've always wanted one of these. Oh, guys, come here. How do you like our happy birthday Jesus display? Check out that star. It's super, Jason, but where's all the people? We're all going to dress up. Are you sure old you know who's going to let you do this? You mean O'Hare Epstein Bar? O'Hare, oh, oh no! O'Hare is the meanest woman in town. And she hates Christmas. She's been making everyone take down the decorations. It won't be a silent night with her around. Here she comes. to do it. Wow, she gives shallowness new depth. Well, if it isn't little Margaret Mitchell and Beverly Fisher, juvenile hall shut down for the holidays? Uh, Merry Christmas, Miss Substance Bar? And a no, no, Noel to you. We're building a church crash. Really? I thought religious displays were illegal in my city. Our nativity is not on public land but it can be seen by someone who's standing on public land. But it's Christmas, the birth of Christ. To you, to me, it's just pretty trees and shopping free. Hey, Christmas is showing love and giving gifts, FYI. Well, no one ever gave me a gift, FYI. Oh, so that's your problem. No, that is not my problem. 
that environmental hazard is. Look out, she's got a hammer. I never had a happy Christmas, so why should you? Hey, take a chill pill. I've never even gotten one baby dolly. Don't crash, crash our, our crash. crash. She's gone ballistic. Let's, Let's get, get out, out of here. here. <laughs> Go ahead, run and scream. What good it'll do when I separate your yeah, church yeah. from my city. Whew. Why am I so tired? Being mean sure takes it out of you. And the straw in the crash does look comfy. Maybe if I just take a nap, I can always destroy this crash tomorrow.
la 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 la. Whoa. <sighs> okay, Sleeping Beauty, snap out of it. Mommy, is that you? Where is everybody? Where am I? Who are you? I'm Norma Jean. Ask me again, and I'll hit you with a wing. <sighs> an angel with an attitude. Very humorless. So you're part of this horrible display? Hey, keep your mitts off my manger. I have to get ready for Mary and Joseph, and I don't need no turkey in the straw. You don't know how important I think that I am. I could crash this crash. Well, then why don't you just huff and puff and blow my house down? Quiet, mouse, or feel my fury. There's my hammer. So you nabbed it. I can't keep anything around here that isn't nailed down, including nails. I'm just not myself tonight. Well, who are you? Never mind, you look tired. You want a room? You better get them while the getting's good. The shepherds just grabbed the Caesar's Palace suite. Holy <laughs> livestock. Uh, the shepherds are already here. Can't you hear all that bad band coming from the black sheep? Sheep in a hotel? You got a problem with that. I'm allergic to sheep! Mm -mm. You'll just have to get to know them. Come on, I'll give you a room for you. The most important night in history, and I am supposed to catch a snake in the grass. As long as she does her hissing someplace else. And they were in the same country shepherds watching over their flocks in the night, when lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. <laughs> That's me. And they, and they were in the glory shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. Sore afraid, really? Who wrote this translation? William Shakespeare. Hurry up, angels. It's the shepherds again.
look, it's the Lord again. Two times in one night? Hey there, Norma Jean. Long time, no sing. Are you just still sore, afraid? No, just sore. You'll sit on a hill all night, and you would be too. My allergies are making me very sore. Achoo! Mm -hmm. I think I'm breaking out. Achoo! Achoo! Do you need a flea collar? Because I got one in the back. This isn't a dream. This is a nightmare. Serves you right. Uh, don't spit on the hay, kid. I just got it clean. Why do we get the economy-sized angels? Because. Gabriel and Michael are working the palace. Herod is fit to be tied. King Herod, <coughs> just when things are looking up, he's sure to bring it all down. Why is your king all bent out of shape anyway? I don't know, but have you taken time out to look up? Yeah, check out the star. What a shiner.
until you ask the I'm afraid we're running with Harris Keeley Cage. The royal knees are knocking now. <laughs> Holy house party. It's Wiseman. <laughs> Welcome to our little town of Bethlehem. You honor us with your presence. Oh, presence, therefore the Christ child. Okay, baby, I can't. Go, I can only do little, one go. thing. And frankincense. Stanley, freaking Stanley. And myrrh. <laughs> Smells good. Pricey. This all seems very familiar somehow. I think my mom used to tell me this story. Hey, shepherds, I need to move some sheep out of the inn. Care to help me with a little wool gathering? <laughs> well, don't bring the flock out here. Fancy pants that might explode. <gasps> there she blows. <laughs> Angel second class reporting for duty. Jordan, I uh, thought you were telling the wise men. I lost him outside of Egypt. Brother, what a night. 400 years of silence, and suddenly you can't tell a player without his program. If you come all this way for the Messiah, that means that he must be worth more to you than gold. Well, don't you know we all need a savior? Andre, we go back home. <laughs> they got to.
If all this is true, then that means that God has given us the greatest gift of all. But the Son of God must be received to be believed. And somehow we got to find a baby without letting Herod know what we know. Letting Herod know that we know what? What we know! Well, what do we know? We know what Herod wants to know, only if he knew that we knew that we know. Then you know who is silly turn blue. Of course. My thoughts exactly? Totally. Then we're agreed. I assume you two are. Without question. Couldn't I say it better myself? Then shall we? Let's do. Do, let's do. Done. <laughs> Get down. Get off the stage. <laughs> Uh-oh, big time trouble. Here comes King Herod. <laughs> Jeepers, peepers, up to our ears and creepers. That was the roughest ride I've ever had. Hey, you'll remind me to have that camel beaten later. You're lucky you didn't get a flat. We can't let Herod see the wise men. Cool your wings, kiddo. I'll get rid of those wise guys. You had Mary and Joseph off at the pass. <sighs> okay. No fret, no sweat. Harry, meet O'Hare. Charmed. Why are you so zoned out about the Christ child? The thought of me losing my throne to another king, even a little baby king, it has me in fits. And I don't trust those wise men from the Orient either. I'm trying to remember what they said. Where was the baby born? waiting for the Messiah. Mother said there'd be days like this. Mama said there'll be days like this. There'll be days like this. Mama, Mama said. Mama said. Mama said. Silence! <laughs> but the Christ child gives everyone hope. Well, I hope I find them before those wise men do. Check out this scimitar. You're gonna kill the little baby Jesus, aren't you? Well, are you gonna rob me of my rights of robbing everyone else of theirs? It's time to think less about rights and think about doing what's right. Sorry, 
sorry, folks. I'm all filled up. But my wife and my wife and I need a room. Quickly. Quickly. Uh, I, there's no room in this inn. I've got angels, I've got wise men, I've got shepherds, I have got some crazy nut who claims to be sleepwalking. And King Herod just blew in. If you had just been here sooner. I knew we should have taken that right from the high rack. But you can't have the stable out back. It's got a triple A rating. But don't tell Herod. I had a bad dream about that guy. King Herod is everybody's bad dream. Sure it is. It used to be over there, but now it's over here. No, it wasn't. I saw a star. I thought I saw the star over there. Oh yeah. Then what's that over Where? there? Where? Over there. there. Way over there. Push me, boy. That's a star, and if you hurry, you can catch it. Do you think we should? <coughs> if you think we should. But only if you think we should. This is a push. I don't know what you think. Well, I defer to you. I defer to you! Well, I defer to the ball to you! Come on, guys, get your act together and take it on the road. Only if you think you should. Only if you think we should. I thought you men were supposed to be wise. <laughs> we, hey, we three kings disorientated are. Which means confused! Now what? Uh, I uh, lost the Holy Family? <laughs> the whole family. I can't find them anywhere. Mary and Joseph, they're in the manger. How'd they get in there? Where else would they be? There's no room in the inn. <sighs> okay. Uh-oh, wrong way. The star is over there. Where's the star moving? Right there. Go. Where? No, it wasn't. There. No, you both wrong. He's way over there. I don't see it nowhere. Okay. I might be blind. Oh, uh, you too. What was that to me? Oh, we gotta go around it. We gotta go around it. Oh, yeah, we gotta go around. <laughs> stay. We stay there until the magic corn stops. We go around. Stay there until the magic corn stops. We stay there until the magic corn Do you see what I see? I think it's the wise man. Holy hallucination! You must be seeing things. Do you hear what I hear? Do you hear what I hear? I think it's the Christ child, trying to be born behind my back. You're just insecure. I'm not insecure, am I? And paranoid! Who told you I was paranoid? And you are so negative. I'm not negative. No, no, no. Mm. No one calls me negative. I'll tell you what, okay? I know. It's like I'll snap my fingers. Adam. 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 I'm gonna snap my fingers. Jordan, where are you? I now need your what? Help. Um, I lost the Holy Family. <laughs> the whole family. I can't find them anywhere. Mary and Joseph, they're in the manger. How'd they get in there? Where else would they be? There's no room in the inn. <sighs> Great news, guys! I just tricked Harry into leaving. Poof. And now the wise men are safe. The wise men? Oh, they beat Fee out of here. What? 
I told them the star of Bethlehem moved into Africa. They're hot on its trail. By the time they get back, the Christ child will be walking. Yes. If you guys don't mind, Mary and I would like to put the baby down for the night. No problem. We'll sing, you read. But this is the B I B L E. <laughs> don't worry, you can use the B word. It's just a dream, remember? Well, this is a first. And it, came, and it came about that while they were in Bethlehem, the days are completed for Mary to give birth. And she gave birth to the little baby Jesus and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the inn, the inn being overrun by sheep that year. Achoo! The it's world okay, was in darkness I for thousands of years. Jason, are you sure? Look, Beverly, our nativity is still standing. Is that snoring I hear? Maggie, look who's in the straw. Oh, hey, Earth. Oh, no! <laughs> Mommy, is that you? No, it's just us, Miss Epstein Bar. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I guess I fell asleep in the straw, counting sheep. I got up to about a million. <gasps> but you were so mad. Oh, Jason, that was before I figured out the reason for this wonderful display. Huh? huh? I remember things about Christmas I hadn't thought about in years. I hope she stays, Luigi. Did you guys know that about 2,000 years ago, God gave us a wonderful free gift? And you can have that gift if you make room in your heart. A little baby dolly. That's what I've always wanted. And guys, can you please forgive me? No problemo! 
God's gift is forgiveness of sin. Given as a little Christmas child. But the Son must be believed to be received. The world was in darkness for thousands of years, and one night a star shone in the sky. And the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness can never put it out. One more time, everyone. Can we give it up for these awesome students? All right. Get up here where y'all can see me. All right. You guys did such an amazing job. So listen, listen. Here's what we're getting ready to do. Just for the next couple of minutes, we're going to wrap this whole thing up. And uh, what I'm going to need for you guys back there, hey, 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 hey. Everybody look at me. Everybody look at me. Shh. There we go. There we go. I don't know how that just happened, but anyway, so we, if we could bottle that, parents, if we could bottle that, put that in a bottle and sell it, that'd be good, right? But listen, um, tonight is a very special night because we're celebrating the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the birth of the Lord Jesus, how many know he wasn't no ordinary baby, amen? And so the birth of Jesus... birth of Jesus is special because he was sent specifically by God. He was no ordinary baby because he wasn't just a human being. He was also God. He was 100% man and he was 100% God. And he was born with a mission. You see, before his birth, humanity had been given an entire planet 
to rule and to reign, created in the image of God, to obey God, but did not obey God. And the Lord, at the point of man's disobedience, could have just brought judgment right then and there. But he didn't do that. Instead, God responded in a way that none of us would have ever conceived on our own. As a matter of fact, he responded in such a way none of us in our wildest imaginations would have ever conceived that the remedy for our rebellion against God would be God responding to us in love, in grace, and in mercy. And so this baby Jesus that was born, he became a teenager. And not only did he become a teenager, but at one point he became a man. And at the age of 30, he began this amazing ministry where he taught and he performed miracles. And I wish he had miraculous control over this mic because apparently I'm blowing it right now. All right. So, so. He did all of these miraculous things, but that wasn't the end of his ministry. The end of his ministry on earth ended up with him suspended between heaven and earth on the cross. You see, because people had sinned against God, because we had sinned against God, and because God is just, there had to be justice. But justice fell on Jesus that day. Justice fell on Jesus, and he paid the penalty for sin completely, 100%. He paid it in full on behalf of everyone who would put their faith in him and trust him as Lord and as Savior. And Jesus died on that cross, paying the full penalty for our sins. But that's not the end of the story of Christ. Because three days later, he resurrected from the grave with all power and authority in his hands. But that is not the end of Jesus' story. At the end of a 40-day period, he ascended to be at the right hand of God the Father. After finishing his earthly ministry, he sent, his, he sent the Holy Spirit to cause the birth of the church and the gospel, the message about Jesus, begin to spread across the earth, across different people groups, and people begin to respond to him powerfully in humble submission and repentance of sin. But that's still not the end of the story. We know that we're in the age of the church now, but one day, this Jesus that was born as a humble servant will make a personal return to this world. He came first as the humble suffering servant, but he will return as our mighty, conquering, glorious king. And what he's going to do is he's going to judge the living and the dead, and he's going to restore all things and I want to tell you something tonight. Everyone under the sound of my voice, maybe you've heard the story of the gospel. Maybe you've heard the story about Jesus over and over again. But here is the thing. Maybe there are some people under the sound of my voice, you've never really heard the gospel. And the gospel is very simple. I could sum it up to you in three words tonight. God saves sinners. God saves sinners sinners and there is only one way to be right with God our mighty glorious creator and that is for us to believe in his son Jesus Christ that as we put our faith in Jesus our sins are forgiven we are made new on the inside we are adopted into the family of God we're kept by the power of his spirit we're brought into an amazing family and community called the church where we get to live in that community and learn more about him and grow in our faith. And so I'd like to wrap this up tonight before I hand things back over to Ms. Stricker and say, you know what? I'd like to just make an invitation. I'd like to make an invitation right there where you are sitting at your seat that maybe you've never even considered Christ. Maybe you've never even considered where you are. But in this moment, there's something happening on the inside of you. Because wherever the message of this gospel is proclaimed, God's spirit moves mightily on people's hearts. And he reveals to us where we are. He either reminds us that we're close or he shows us that we're far away. And the remedy for us if we're far away and separated from God 
is none other than his son, Jesus Christ. And so my humble, gracious call to each and every one of us tonight as we celebrate the coming of our Lord First of all, I pray that this would not just be a seasonal thing. Jesus is not just Lord in December. Amen. He's Lord all the time, always has been, and he always will be. And I pray that if you're under the sound of my voice and you are not in right relationship with the Lord, that this amazing, powerful, gracious message of redemption, that God sent his son to die in the place of wretched sinners so that we could be right with him. Jesus became like us so that God could make us like him. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this opportunity tonight. Lord, I thank you for your goodness and your grace and your mercy. Father God, you sent your son to die in our place. Lord, we, Lord, we, we don't understand such great love. But Lord God, you have given us this love in your son Jesus. And so, Father, I pray that there would be response tonight to your goodness. I pray, Father, that there would be response tonight to your love. I pray, God, that there would be response tonight to your mercy. And I pray, Father God, that for each and every person in this room whose hearts are on fire right now, God, recognizing that they are not where they should be with you, Lord, I pray and thank you for capturing their hearts, but I pray, God, that you would lead them to you. Lord, to ask forgiveness of our sins and to know Lord Jesus that you genuinely are our only hope and you genuinely are the hope of the entire world so Lord as we celebrate you God let us not celebrate you in words only but let us celebrate you Lord in worship and humble submission to who you are and what you've done in order to save us have your way father in our hearts in the name of your son Jesus for your glory and by the power of your Holy Spirit Amen. God bless you guys. Thank you. Can we welcome up Miss Stricker? Awesome. I'm going to ask real quick if uh, I'm going to, we all indulge me for two seconds. I want the JCA staff to real quickly come up here. I know they love being up front. All JCA teachers stand up. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, come on quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm always up front, but they're never up front. Y'all just come right here. They're never up front. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have a great staff right here, JCA. All right, all right, all right. Shh. They like their teachers just a little bit, right? I just wanted to take a quick second because I'm up here all the time and you see me, but they do all the work. Right here is where all the work happens every single day, laying down their lives and loving kids. And I just wanted to appreciate them real quickly tonight. And this is pre-K all the way through eighth grade. And uh, this is probably, this isn't probably, this is the best staff we've ever had at JCA. And I just wanted to appreciate them real quickly. And I have the the most amazing admin staff, Dr. Potter Wave. She's the assistant head of school. She's recovering. They love Dr. Potter. Oh, you got, got to get it quick. All right. Uh, is Mitchie here? Ooh. Mitchie was here, but I think she stepped out. Um, and then we have Mark Savage, who's also our children's pastor and our dean of students. <laughs> Carolyn... Carolyn Garcia is probably getting the reception ready out front. See y'all love on her. And then our lead elementary teacher, Miss Heather Ray, who is an amazing teacher as well. So we have, there's a whole lot of people. And if we could appreciate 
Um, we only notice the sound people when they mess up and the light people when they mess up, but great job. So many mics and everything for um, our sound people, our video people. Uh, Trey McClendon did all our programs and everything for us. Lots of people. It doesn't just happen. But uh, we have a special thank you if you'll come forward for two very special people tonight. And uh, first I'd like to bring up, this was my choir teacher when I was 12 years old. I'm just saying, this is the truth. And sitting by her tonight was quite amazing. So I want to appreciate first Pastor Darlene Ballinger, who's been working with the kids. Everybody ought to get flowers. Come up here, Mama B. Mama B, come up here. Come up here. Listen, I'm sending them home with you. They got some energy tonight. She has been, I was actually in a choir in youth group that traveled and sang all over the place. She's got a lot of years, we won't say how many. She's got a lot of years of experience, so we were super blessed. And then the, the um, queen bee who has been putting this thing together and organizing from a full-time job. She's been managing and doing all this, having practices late in the afternoon. And uh, she and Pastor Aaron, I'm going to ask you to come up too, have both been a great support for JCA. So I want to recognize Carolyn James, the director of our play. All right. <laughs> The teachers are running everywhere back there. So we just, you know, things don't just happen. Things don't just happen. It takes a lot of people to train up children, but they're certainly worth it. So I want to get all the kids to stand. All the kids to stand. We have cookies and cupcakes and refreshments. <laughs> all, right. all right, kids, you going to help me say Merry Christmas? On the count of three, are y'all ready? One, two, three, Merry Christmas! Have a great night, everyone. <laughs>